seeing a terrarium always makes me wonder, you know, as to how an entire ecosystem could fit in a small glass jar. Terrariums are fun to do and brings out your inner creativity. So today, for this project, I have used a diffuse light bulb and at the same time recycling it and contributing my little towards Mother Nature. So let's start! So the things which we will be needing are, of course, a light bulb and a stand. It's a hairband, old hairband, which I molded into shape, which will hold the light bulb like this. Garden soil, some pebbles, sand, garden moss, activated charcoal, some random plants, some trinkets to decorate, a plier, screwdriver, tweezer and a syringe. So firstly, we will open the top part of the light bulb with the help of a screwdriver or you can also use a plier. Just do it very carefully and watch your hand. See, it went inside. Now carefully clear out the remaining part of the bulb. You can also use a tweezer to clear out the insides like how here I am doing. You can see how here now it's all clean. So firstly we will so firstly we will fix the light bulb on the stand and do the further process then. So I think this will be good enough now using a paper like this we will be pouring in all the contents firstly we will be pouring in the pebbles which will act as the base of the terrarium they act as water draining system for the plants and prevents their roots from rotting from excess water carefully lay out an even layer of the pebbles Now we will be pouring in our second layer which is sand. Sand also helps in water drainage and prevents the plant roots from rotting. Now we will add in some activated charcoal. It helps the plants stay healthy, remove unpleasant smell and decreases the chances of more development inside the terrarium. You will only be needing a very thin layer of charcoal inside the terrarium. Now we will be adding the soil layer which gives nutrients to the plants to thrive and help keep normal moisture levels inside the terrarium. Just lay out an even and thick layer of the soil to provide base for the plants. Now remove the paper funnel and tap it out. It's just tapping it. Lighten it. Now with the help of tweezers, we will be adding moss to this. 
the moss absorbs any excess water present inside the terrarium so place an even layer and good amount of moss inside the terrarium now i am layering some plants choose the plant according to the size of the terrarium and keep in mind about the plant's light and moisture needs use moisture loving plants for a closed terrarium as it has its own water cycle and now again we'll be adding some little pebbles and some small piglets to decorate and this way you can bring out your inner creativity Lastly, we will be adding some water, little bit. Just use a little water in case of a closed terrarium, and water again only when the upper surface appears dry. Well, here we have a stone, so I'll be adding this. You can also add a um, stem if you like, like this. That way, you can open it again for maintenance, and this will also give it a rustic look. So if you like such videos then do like and subscribe to my channel thank you